Here are my five tips to marketing yourself as a brand photographer. The first tip is to showcase your work in process. Now, when I'm going on location to a client's office or showroom or studio or shop, I always bring this mini tripod and phone clip with me because as I'm working with the client, I can set this on the floor or on a table and I can set it to capture time-lapse videos where I will then show on Instagram stories or create a reel to showcase some behind the scenes, plus also pepper in some final images. This is great for potential clients to see what it's like to work with you as a brand photographer. And I've been working with brands for over a decade and showcasing my process so people can get a sense of how I work has been an amazing way to market my business. So I highly recommend getting in front of the camera and showcasing how you work with your clients. So number two is to build your network. Now, this is something early on that I wish I integrated more and being an introvert, going to a networking event seemed daunting. But honestly, meeting new people, meeting other business owners, other photographers, other creatives has really been an amazing way to market myself. And I have received multiple clients through these methods and it's really just building up your confidence, knowing what you offer. So then when someone asks you, what is a brand photographer? You can be confident and say that brand photography is photography with a marketing approach and you can tell them how it benefits them and that you want them to generate more business, build brand awareness, and they'll be able to vibe with you and get more info. The third tip is get clear on your niche. As a starting photographer, we want to shoot everything. We want any project that is bringing in some income and I was there and I get that. I want you to showcase what you want to be known for, what you want people to think, oh, you need brand photography, you need to call Nicole. So yes, go for it, shoot the um, mini weddings, shoot the portrait sessions for seniors, dog photography, whatever is coming your way that you know that you can gain some skills and experience, always go with your gut and grab those experiences when you can. But as you start building up your business as a brand photographer, those should be minimizing and you should be really going after the jobs that you really want. And you wanna showcase that work. So if you wanna be a brand photographer, if you wanna be working with businesses, all of your marketing materials should be bringing that forward Certainly you can be taking those other jobs on the side, but you don't need to be advertising those. The fourth tip is get your website up and running. Now here is another area that I wish I really took the leap to change the type of website I had. For years I had the traditional portfolio heavy, portfolio forward um, website and my mind was the work will do the talking, I don't need to be in front of the camera, someone will see an image and hire me right away. And really, the game today is people wanna connect with you, they're hiring you, not the camera. So if you can have a website that not only showcases your work, but identifies with the customer that you wanna attract, that speaks to what they need, and also showcases your personality and what it's like to work with you because they wanna go on your website, see some work, wanna know more about you, and they wanna know how to work with you and what your process is. If you can have your website up and running and kind of hit those points, you're already ahead of the game. All right, number five. Number five is to get gritty. And I have two examples here. So one is when you're starting out as a new photographer, a new brand photographer, you wanna be creating personal projects. So if you wanna work with outdoor brands, for example, grab some friends, go to the mountains, go to the water, create some lifestyle images that have the vibe of a brand, outdoor brand 
feel to start building your portfolio. So another example is collaborating with other brands. So I did this when I worked with a local magazine and I then reached out to another brand that would be more my ideal client and collaborated with them. Now they got a feature in this magazine, but I was able to build my portfolio by working with this business and we still actually work together today three plus years later. So I'm always thinking of personal projects or ways to collaborate if there's a new um, direction I want to go or something new that I want to explore. So that's always a powerful tool if you don't have any work yet. Building that relationship with clients and building one business to another business and they can refer you, it always is a great way to get into your local network that way. Okay. All right. So those are my five tips. And I'm excited to also share that starting in July, 2023, I'm kicking off my first live online cohort course. It's the business of brand photography. And I'm going to be breaking down so much of my knowledge over the past decade and sharing it with you. We're going to be talking about workflow and questions to ask clients and discovery calls and developing strategy meetings and creating photo shoot uh, direction and it's going to be a great time so i want to leave the information here if you are interested please let me know if you have any questions but definitely check that out if that's something that you've been looking to do to add brand photography to your already existing business or if you just want to jump in and be a brand photographer, this is going to be the class that you need to set yourself up for success. All right, till next time.